the long association of Taoism and medicine. Um, you know, I would like to talk about it, but it will come out over the the two years. It isn't what people think. It isn't kind of voodoo from Taoism. It's the certain kind of self-cultivation that is a premise. I think Chinese medicine is more associated with Confucianism than Taoism, but uh, the Taoist dimension of it was interpreted by Confucianism. Um, but you know, having a harmonious relationship, which is absolutely central to Confucianism, it's also very important to understand. You know, like what you can and can't do. I mean, if you fear death yourself and have not released yourself from that, then morbidity is always available. Yeah. Because just someone drags you towards the inevitability that everyone's going to die, and you're going, no, wait, 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 and so you immediately go into this struggle and become exhausted. That's when you know all your patients harm you, and et cetera, et cetera. So uh, that's not the Chinese traditional Chinese doctor's relationship to the patient. It's always a kind of positive outlook. Not a new age cheerfulness, really a positive outlook. You know, not artificial smiling, but really like, whoa, lucky. You're dead soon. You know? 